immediately has to drop back again to negotiate the quarter. You'll notice sales machine, the number plate dropping much closer to the wheel. 113, so Willing has got the message. They are on his tail, and I'm sure that the times of both Murray Sale and the New Zealander Woodley are probably a lot closer to probably even better than Ron Term's previous three-year-old lap record. It's a close race now, Graham. They're really closing up on Willing. This breaks down about two and a bit seconds now from five. Well, that doesn't surprise me, although you've got to admit that these other two must have been putting in some pretty good laps because uh, Willing's been forced down to 113, which is very close to his previous fastest lap. Um, Sale in second place probably has gone close to the 112.6 lap record. Yes, very sir. close to it. I wouldn't be surprised if he is not far off equal uh, best lap for the day because Murray Sale has really got the big job in front of him, as I mentioned earlier, in the absence of... Uh, uh, Greg Hansford, you know, it's usually two against one, and uh, he's accepted the challenge remarkably. Sale is leaving his braking, you notice he uh, came up to show a corner a lot later than did Willing, and apparently is leaving his braking until the last minute. Here they go away from Shell Corner, and our camera there looking from Tirana. 112.8, getting very close to his previous best time was Willing. It is quite apparent, as Willing having a look back over both sides, you'll note, he didn't take the... Uh, usual uh, line which is to look over your left shoulder he looked over both and realizes that murray sale is breathing down his neck here is a race which is developing in the uh now sale put his hand up there i wonder if something is blown on kawasaki he raised his right hand to the rider over his shoulder now this could mean that murray sale has extended the kawasaki beyond its capacity and we might find that murray sale has dropped out Willing is on his own. There's a production machine in there. Murray Sale has indicated, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if he's had a major blow up in the motor. Climbing the back of the circuit, he was within feet of the back wheel of Warren Willing. And I think the Kawasaki challenge, unfortunately, has gone for this the second of time between the two of them. With um, two laps to go, Warren Willing from New South Wales, Yamaha team, uh, he looks as though he's staved off the opposition from uh, Kawasaki. John Woodley should not be very far behind him. 112.2, a new lap record unofficially here for the, um, this one of our competitors, number 64, who's just uh, skated off. That's Greg Pretty, you may remember. Greg was uh, second in the production race. He's apparently winded himself, but he's willing on his merry way with the Stars and Stripes, obviously Warren is also celebrating American independence and a uh, very colourful machine. He's uh, certainly not uh, disgraced himself this time. A lot of people in Victoria had not had the opportunity of seeing this magnificent young rider. Uh, I'm sure that a lot of people will agree with that. He's the fastest man around Bathurst. He had the first 100 mile an hour lap at Bathurst at Easter time. There's a check flag for Warren Willing completing his double, they stand over in the back. We could hear them, of course, they were cheering madly for Murray Sale, who was uh, making an effort to close on Warren Willing. So the official placings were the fastest lap, 112.2. The winner was Warren Willing, second was John Woodley, and third uh, would be perhaps number 51, Paul Graydon. And that was the Hang 10 Cup for solo cyclists and machines, 200 to 1,000 cc. Now that's all in this afternoon Sandown 2 plus 4 meeting and we'll say goodbye to you from Melbourne.